This is the documentary of Chasing Your Dreams. I'm here with Judy Rodman, vocal coach, and he come in the studio and helped me with a lot of my project and everything. And after talking to you and seeing some of your success, I, I felt really obliged to have you on this project. And um, Great, you, great to be a part of it. Right? You yourself has uh, experienced something with Crohn's and it's affected you as your life, but before we get going there, let's, let's talk a little bit about how you got your start and where you come from and who you've worked with. Well, I, I've worked uh, in a, the music business professionally for about four decades, you know, when I started very young. Yeah, started very young, and so I've had the uh, great privilege of working with lots of, of people, and since I was doing a lot of session work, you know, I worked with a lot of the people that were on top in the radio yeah. Uh, of the radio charts for kind of for many years. Networking. Yeah. yeah, and then and then the business changed and all that, and I and I became an artist and had hit records of my own, and then it changed again, <laughs> and yeah. so uh, that's when I started doing uh, more, much more writing, mm -hmm. and then vocal training, and production and vocal production and that kind of thing, and then now I've come full circle to back to doing a little bit of the artist thing again. Yeah. If you're in this business for very long, as long as I've been in it, yeah. you, you, you really have to be on roller skates. Well, you've had plenty of hits and worked with great artists such as Leanne Rhyme and ASCAP Awards. Well, and actually, I didn't work with Leanne Rhymes. I co-wrote a song for her called One Way Ticket yeah. because I can't, yeah. And, uh, and then the other ones are, song, uh, I had a song on, uh, the demon, uh, the di diamond Rio, yeah. <laughs> demons and angels, on the diamond Rio record, and then this is one I had as an artist, and uh, that was one. I the reason I've got that up instead of until I met you, which was my number right. one, is because I wrote that one with uh, yeah. Wayne Orander. So, yeah, it's just, and then you know, it, it's this one's the this one is my pride and joy right now, yeah. because it says best best vocal coach of two thousand eleven. Right. <laughs> And that, that's the one I'm, I've been really concentrating on for many years. So yeah, you have. Yeah, it's really, yeah. been, really been fun. Uh, I think, uh, you know, ever since the first lesson I took from you, you just really took control and showed me what I was doing right and wrong. And, you know, sometimes it's, it's, you know you've done it wrong, but it's too late, you know. And, uh, well, you, you, might, and yeah, you, might know, you might know that you're doing something that, that doesn't feel good or, or doesn't, you know, work as well. I mean, you know, you really feel like you could do it better, yeah. but you don't know how. That's what a, a good vocal co coach should be able to do: is just take, not remake you, right. but take who you are, you know, and and, and sort of free it. Mm -hmm. So that's 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 really. Uh, I get to be part of your journey too, yeah. rather than just my own. Definitely, yeah. all all kinds of ways. <laughs> yeah. Um, I appreciate all the work you have done with me, and I look forward to doing more and. Uh, Definitely uh, refer you to anybody in Nashville. Like Thank you, say, you for that. 11, 2011, my books, you're one of the best. You know? Thank you. Um, you really did help me in my studio trying to you know, nail the vocals. and I feel like I did better than I could on my own, but you know, there's still that little bit of slack that, that you feel like you could have done better every time. I, I imagine a lot of artists face that. But. Yeah, I think as long as we're breathing. I mean, I'm still learning right. myself. Let's talk a little bit about yourself as had Crohn's and had to battle with it a little bit and, and explain how that affects artists and performers and different things. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, a, it's interesting. I know several people in the business with Crohn's. It used to be thought of as a, a very rare disorder, right. but I think uh, there are more, more people being diagnosed with it. Yeah. It's just been, it's a lot more public than it used to be mm -hmm. back when I was diagnosed with it, uh, which was about... Uh, 35 years ago, I guess, and it was, the, the reason Crohn, Crohn's uh, is such a weird yeah. disorder, as you know, it affects people differently, mm -hmm. you know, at different levels, at, for different lengths of time. The, the way we pieced my medical history together, uh, I, mean, I moved around a lot, so people, my one doctor didn't follow me, yeah. and what, what happened was when I had my child, because I had Crohn's, that I didn't know about, that was busy causing all mm -hmm. kinds of adhesions and problems. When my son was born, it was 
that just tore everything open and, you know, make a long story short, I was in the hospital for three months and intensive care for seven weeks. And I had an endotracheal tube down, which uh, I was sicker than, I mean, they couldn't take it out as soon as they were going to, so they left it down a little too long. And I had it down several times, in fact, because I was, you know, it was really it touch and go for about, you know, seven weeks. And uh, so it, it caused me to lose an octave and a half of my range. That plus, it was very painful, you know, and screaming in the hospital. Oh, I mean, that's yeah. not good. Yeah. He's ripping your note bump, of course. Yeah, forward. absolutely, with the, you know, the endotracheal damage, too. And I, my doctor thought I had permanent scar tissue. Mm -hmm. But uh, all I know is I, it took me two years to, to start getting my voice back. I did it with some with some classical training that I'd learned in college, mm -hmm. just really working my head voice. Mm -hmm. And then I got, when I, we moved from Memphis, which is where that happened, to Nashville, uh, I got with professional vocal coach Gerald Arthur. And he helped me get not only everything I had, but a half step or two more than I'd ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. So I, right there, I, and, and then about a year or two, I think it was, Later, I had a record deal and a number one record and the whole yeah. bit. So what I learned was, you never say never. Right. You know, I know you know this too. Right. You uh, you go on and, and things are possible that you don't think are possible if you just keep putting one foot forward and, and thinking positively and looking in more in unusual places like professional vocal training <laughs> yeah. to actually say to you know, I, I learned the value of that of a really good professional trainer and lo and behold years later I followed in, in Gerald's footsteps you know and, mm -hmm. and I know what it feels like to have vocal damage so that's what helps me yeah. help other people so Crohn's disease has been sort of weirdly informative in my life you know? yeah what, what are some steps that you would that you've taken now to help your Crohn's or anything? Have you been in remission? I've been in remission since I almost died. Mm -hmm. uh, for some reason, my doctor, and Crohn's is so strange, right. but in my case, it seemed to have burned itself out. And I don't anticipate that it is ever coming back. You know, yeah. I'm just gonna claim that. Hopefully. Although I can't ever say that as, as a, for sure. But I, do, I don't believe it's coming back. However, it left me with um, a very uh, inefficient digestive system yeah. and that's one but you know the good thing about that is I, I don't Just gain weight yeah. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have any trouble with weight gain and people yeah. wonder you know why well kind of a double edged sword right I'd give anything if I could gain a little weight yeah. you know just the way it is and the way Crohn's affects your body, you know, it's really hard. Well, I, I went the nutritional, I mean, without medical doctors, I wouldn't be here talking to you. Mm -hmm. I would be long gone. But I found that alternative medicine was what gave me back the quality of my life mm -hmm. after medicine gave me back my life. Yeah. So I did, I do uh, go to, a, you know, a natural health person to, for diet and, and that kind of thing, and that, I highly recommend that to people. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's something we're going to look into. I'll definitely look into mm -hmm. a little bit more of that and everything. I appreciate your time. And appreciate you, Ryan. Yes, and thank you for all you do for uh, raising the awareness of, of Crohn's disease yeah. and uh, the need for, for research in it. And, uh, and I'm amazed at you. You are an amazing artist. You really have your feet in all odds. So already. Yeah. Get your cross technique. And then use my use my studio fingers. Time getting right. hard and on bars. Okay, do it again and see if you can feel that because that's where you got to come from. Okay. Don't come from here. Yeah. Come from here. Mm -hmm. Right, and use your butt to do it. Ready? I'm getting out alone, but I'm awesome. Lend me your hand. Let's go for a walk. Now, act like you do one other thing for me. Act like you're
you're inhaling this. Da, 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 da. Act like you're inhaling instead of exhaling. so that you don't move away from the mic. Move your chest in so you can move back without moving too far. Now we can take the pencil out, but uh, but I want you to use your words now. Yeah, stick it, in, stick it somewhere. Uh, so use your words to pull your voice. song okay you do this too I mean just you just use more passion but not more pressure okay yeah hey, yeah I, I didn't push at all yeah I'm pulled with the yeah yeah now that hurts already can you hear the difference so it's not doesn't have to be weak to be pulled okay not try and I think that's what you're thinking is to make it stronger you got to push harder. Mm -hmm. And as you push harder, everything in here is Locks tightening out. against it, locking down. Mm -hmm. right? Like a, some kind of maximum security jail. Pitbull. <laughs> <laughs> or pit bull. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so drop the pressure and add passion for what the words are. All right? I'm getting hard. 